You're listening to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio, broadcasting out of the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Today's voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. When Christians Speak is dedicated to lifting up the name of Christ Jesus and spreading the good news. Speak Talk Radio is a non-profit ministry. We are dedicated to spreading the gospel of Jesus through our programs and special guests. We exist through the generous support of our listeners. If you are being blessed through this ministry and would like to give a love offering, go to our website and click on our donation page. Your donation will be processed through PayPal. Our prayer is that you may prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Unto the Lord, for He is good. When Christians Speak Talk Radio is a 501c3 nonprofit ministry. All of your gifts to this ministry are tax deductible. Go out to our website www.whenchristianspeak.com and click on our donation page. Oh, give thanks unto the Challenge to change, where transformation begins with you. Change appears to be one of the biggest hindrances to growth from relationships that I have encountered while in ministry. Our focus is usually on someone else and what they have done or are doing to us, instead of us being accountable to God and making sure we're not a stumbling block to ourselves or others. Challenge to change is about us taking personal responsibility for our Christian walk as we face challenges and issues and how to overcome them through biblical tools and techniques that we will discuss on this show. Everything about this show is encompassed in us depending on the Holy Spirit to edify, enrich, and transform lives by introducing individuals to a personal encounter with God's unconditional love. That is where real transformation begins and ends. How you about doing this morning? Y'all know the cold wave coming? Y'all, y'all got your heat, you got your clothes, you got your everything you need? Okay, all right. Well, let's do our confession. All right, y'all ready? Father, I choose to be open and receptive today. I humble myself, bearing my heart, my joys, and my pains. I thank you for restoring my wounded soul. I believe that I will not receive more than my humanity can bear. I ask that what is hidden in my conscious and unconscious mind those secrets hidden from myself that block my growth and intimacy with God and others be revealed. Search me, Holy Spirit. Reveal these hidden hurts to me and show me the areas that must be addressed today. I give you permission to go to the points of inception of my hurts and hidden memories that are negatively impacting my life. I give you access to my heart and mind so you may bypass any repression, denial, depression, disassociation, confusion, guilt, Shame, condemnation, pride, unforgiveness, anger, fear, or lies that may be blocking my memories. Override any obstacles that have hindered me or are hindering me from receiving my freedom in you. I renounce and counsel the effects of receiving any accusations and lies into my mind, body, soul, and heart that is contrary to the truth of who you say that I am. I declare that I live my life loved, cherished, and adored by you. I receive in my heart every expression of your love for me. Because you love me, I am free of all guilt, shame, and condemnation. In Jesus' name, amen. So what are you supposed to do with a lie? You have a mic over here and a mic over here. What are you supposed to do with a lie? Satan tell you a lie. What are you supposed to do with it? Raise your hand so we can hear you. I got a mic coming over here. Anybody over on this side? Can I get a one, 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 two? There we go, right there, right there. All right, what we got? What are you supposed to do with a lie? Replace it with Re- the word of God. Replace it with the word of God. Can, can you think it or are you supposed to say it? Say it. Say it. Okay. Very similar. Um, speak the truth, what okay. God's word says about whatever it is that's going on. Okay. Speak the truth. Okay. But I don't feel like it. Uh-oh. Somebody said that don't matter. <laughs> All right. So what have we been talking about lately? Now. When? Now. Not later on? Now. Now. So we're talking about steps to now. All right? 
I want you to pay attention. Say pay attention. Because I got something for you. I've been having something for you. You just wasn't paying attention sometimes. Because sometimes when people don't hear what they want to hear, what do they do? Tune out. Tune out. How do you tune out, Nicole? It might come in your way. How do you tune out? What are the ways people tune out? They change the subject. Change the subject. They ask questions about stuff you weren't even talking about. Oh, no, no, she didn't say it. Go ahead. Go ahead, Nicole. Go ahead. Oh, that's it. Okay. No, no, go ahead. You hold the ball. You hold the ball. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. <laughs> they think about what they're going to eat. Oh, they think about eating. Especially uh, doing the fast, right? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> They get blindsided. You you start to think about, oh, maybe I should go to the bathroom now. Right at the time ooh, ooh, ooh. where the pastor is about to share with okay. you the answer to your problem. There it is right there. I'm going to stop it right there. I right, stuffed in there. Let's take a look. Now, now I'm staying with, with Habakkuk too because it, 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 it says it all. It says when to do it, how to do it, why you do it, what you get from doing it. And then God answered, write this. He didn't say thank this. He said write it. You can think about it after you write it, but you need to write it first. Do, do you know it's been proven that 28% of the people work for people who wrote goals? That's a high percentage, isn't it? So write some goals so people can work for you. That was free. <laughs> <laughs> write what you see. Now, do you have to adjust what you see? So if the enemy comes in and tries to show you something that, that's not in the vision, do you have to replace that thought? Because you need to see what God told you. Write it out, big block letters, so that it can be read on the run. I told you, you're supposed to put it in your car, you're supposed to put it in your bathroom, because you, you go in there a whole lot. And where, where else are you supposed to put it? Put it on your phone? Okay, all right. In your bedroom? This vision message is a witness pointing to what's coming. So if I'm going in the wrong direction of what's coming, then what adjustment I need to make? You need to turn, you turn. Okay? It aches for the coming. It wants to come as much as you want it to come. It can hardly wait. It doesn't lie, so it's not telling you a lie. How, how long did Abraham and Sarah believe for their child? I think it was 70 years. But, Lord, I prayed yesterday and it hadn't come to pass yet. Yesterday. 70 years. Do you think they doubted in that 70 years? Okay, all right. And it doesn't lie. It seems, it, it seems slow in coming. Wait. What does that mean? Wait. wait is an active word. It means that we can do things in the waiting, but we're not anxious as we're waiting. Uh-oh, that's the part right there. That's the part right there. We're not anxious. How, how many of us get anxious in the waiting? I'm, see, I raised both my hands. Because I prayed yesterday, Lord, it should have been here today. I just want to let you know, fasting don't move God. God has already moved. He, he created what he wanted for us when, when he, when we came to being. Before we got here, he already set out how we should live, what we should do, how we should prosper, where, what giftings and talents we have received. We just haven't walked in it. So, see, we, we can't pray him to do stuff because he already done it. So I just want to make sure you, you, you don't think you're moving God through the fast. Okay, amen? Anybody thought that? No, don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. Somebody will talk about you. It's on its way. It will come right on time. You ever had something come right on time? Okay, all right. Now, I talked about a happy hour, so you guys want to write these down because when I get to what I need you to make sure you get a total understanding of, then you're going to refer back to. So, But I'm not going to go into all of them. I'm just going to go into the ones that I didn't cover on Friday. I mean, on uh, Happy Hour Thursday. So you want to write down relationships. And how many different relationships? You got a whole bunch of them, right? With yourself? Make sure you put them down. You got a relationship with God? Well, I said I wasn't going to go over it, so I got to keep moving. Okay, there it is right there. See, I hear things. I hear things. I hear God. We talked about housing. What kind of house you want? Where you want to live? The things you got to consider in the house. Talked about health. Uh-oh. That one went real quiet. I even heard y'all stop breathing for a second. What about your health, guys? We got a simple little test we can take. Okay? They're going to poke and stuff like that, but you've been poked at before. Oh, let me keep on going there. Y'all might take that the wrong way. <laughs> faith, you with me, though, right? Faith, you with me. Faith with me. As long as faith with me, I got you. All right, so I want to talk about today and writing the vision about your career. What career are you looking at? And, and don't lose, use age as a limit to your career. Don't use it. Don't use it. What, what I mean by that? I'm too old. I'm too young. 
I didn't get enough education. What else? What, what other excuses we use when, when we don't want to grow in our career? Y'all shout it out. I don't have the skills. What else? It's too hard. It's time to retire. I don't have the money. That's how you get the money. No, I'm just messing with you. I'm, I'm in there today. I'm in there today. Y'all just stay with me now. Just stay with me. Stay with me. Don't get offended. All right, so let, let's, let's take so, so you got to decide what you want to, how much income you want to make in, in this job, this career. What, what's your income? What's your level? Y'all, y'all shout something out. It don't have to mean that it's you. Shout some, some what, I mean, how much income are you looking at you want to make? 80000 80, Six figures. Six figures. Okay. <laughs> a million. <laughs> a million. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave it low. Y- y- y'all shut it down after six weeks. <laughs> Is it possible? So write it down. Write it down. Because he said, thank the vision. He said, write the vision. And make it plain. So when you see it, you're going to run to it. You're going to run to that class. You're going to run to that workshop. You're going to run to get that degree. What's your alley versus do you want to be alley or do you want to be salary? So if they offer you a job and you're saying salary and they say alley, then that's the wrong job. Uh-oh. Because, see, he, whatever you put down, it's on the inside of him. So he wants, he wants to bring to pass the thing that you believe in for and you pray to him about. What's the position you're looking for? Y'all follow it out at me. Well, what, what position are you thinking about? CEO. CEO. Okay. All right. Who else? Leadership. Okay. Huh? A kept woman. Now, you got to explain that one. I heard that Reverend said that a few weeks ago. (laughs) Give me a mic on a kept woman. Okay. All right. Here then, Nicole. It's all yours. I'd like my income to be additional to the primary income of the home. Okay. I would like to generate income without trading dollars for time or time for dollars. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Y'all got it? Okay. She, She explained it. All right, let's see what else. Do you want to be remote? You know, do you want to work from, from home? Or do you want to be hybrid where you work some at home and some at work? Huh? Remote? <laughs> can, can I get to the third one? <laughs> do you want to be on site? So, so you there. All right, so, so what would you say over on this side? How many of y'all said remote, hybrid, or on, on site? Remote, what you got? Remote, okay. okay. O- over here, what we got? Remote? Okay, all right. Now, y'all know it's not remote control. Okay, I just want to make it clear. All right, so y'all got your career there. What about the benefits? Do you want health, health insurance? Do you want dental? What, what kind of benefits you want? So you got to keep all that into account as you write the vision. Well, what was she there? Oh, she wants government benefits. Yes, sir, buddy. <laughs> so don't take the job unless they got government benefits. Amen? All right, y'all got that. So what are the categories? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. All right, so, so this, is, this is where you get it. What do I want? So you look at those four categories. You say in relationships, what, else, what was the other one? Housing, what was the other one? Health, career. So what do I want? And as I look at those four categories... What is it that I want? That's a real question. What do you want? So pick one of the categories and tell me what you want. Give me one over on this side, one over on this side. And you that are watching internationally, you, you, you're in the game too. So what do you want of those four categories? If you, you, you can pick one in each category, but I just want to spend time in one. But I'm going to keep it moving. I got one over here. I would say health. Health, okay, okay, all right. So he said he wants health. What about this side? Well, as you got the mic, go ahead and use it. What do you want? Pastor, I want to be financially free. Financially free, okay, all right. Are y'all ready? Okay. Health. Go ahead. Health. Health, okay, all right. So, so would you have to get your, your exams? Would you have to eat different? Could you, would you have to exercise? No, let me rephrase it. Let me write it back. Do you choose to exercise? Do you choose to eat correctly? Do you get to get an exam? 
So why change the wording? A mind shift? Give a mic. What does that mean? A mind shift. What does that mean? I'm not taking for granted people know what you're talking about. Because I found out a whole lot different. <laughs> um, you say mind shift? Yeah. So going from something that is maybe required to something that you're choosing to do. Okay. Okay. Something you're choosing to do. Because that empowers you. Things that we have to do, we, we get a lot of feedback. Anybody ever gotten feedback on, like the fast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They do that every year. So, so what we did different, we, we, we stretched it out and made it a little later. Because we, we, we wanted to get y'all's mind off of January, the beginning of the new year. So you can move things around and make them more, what's the word I'm looking for? Palatable? Okay. Okay. All right. So, so everybody got what they want. You wrote it down. Because how you said to do the vision? Write it. Write it. Don't think it. Write it. Number two, why do I want it? Because see, that why is a motivator. See, when you want to quit, you got to go back to why. Why you said you wanted it. You can't want it for somebody else. You got to want it for you. And they just happen to be blessed by what you want and why. Because the enemy will come up, buddy, and he will come up and he will tell you. What are some of the things the enemy tell you? No, you don't deserve this. Nobody in your family ever did it. Why do you think you're going to be able to do it? But see, what, what, what is your why going to say? Your why talks back? But if you haven't thought about your why, how is it going to talk back? What's your why? Your why is your reason for starting and continuing. Notice I didn't just say starting. Because sometimes we have a pass of starting but not stopping. I mean starting and stopping. And you talk to some people, they got 15 things they started and stopped. But see, that's called a history. So you want to make sure your stopping and starting doesn't have a history. Because when you start to do something, your mind says, ha, ha, yeah, let's see, the last time he stopped in four days. He went to the gym and did all this, and he stopped on the fourth day. So then when you go to do something else that you say you really love, then what happens is the mind says, well, four days. And then it starts to, to remind you of four days. And then in four days, you go, well, you know, okay. But then when, when, when people ask you, well, how does it go? Because you done told people. How many of y'all told people and didn't, didn't hear to hide from them? See, y'all want to put the whole day up. See, y'all put the hand down. I know y'all hear, hear from them. Y'all told people, how you going to go to school? Or how you going to do this? Or how you going to get in shape? How you going to do this? And then all of a sudden, you stop doing it. And then when you saw them, y'all saw them in the grocery store. That's where you meet most people. And, and, and you know, those, those wheels, don't get one of them strollers got them funny wheels, you know. Because, you know, they'll are, they are hear you go. <laughs> so right there, I'm do mine like that. Make sure it's smooth. Because I got to go, I go. You understand what I'm saying? For what's your reason for starting? But look for what's your reason to. So you put that, that piece in there as you start to write. What, what would cause me to quit? And then you put a replacement for it. So you don't have to look shocked. Because somebody legit might walk up to you and tell you, no, you need to stop this. Well, what about if your parents tell you, you, you can't do that, boy. You can't do that, girl. Now, in my culture, boy and girl, that means, you know, it's, it's, they, they, they're serious about it. Right. Has someone come up to you and told you you quit, couldn't do it? Somebody over here and somebody over here. What did they say to you about you and your ability to dream? You dream way off the chart. Nobody in our family ever did this. I got one in the back. Anybody over on this side? Okay, I got you in the back. I got one coming your way soon. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, my parents yes, said, but can you, you sure you can do that? That might be too much for you. Okay, sure you can do it. And, and see, they plant a seed. Because depending on who it is, you believe them. Shouldn't your mother or your father be able to tell you something and you should believe it, even if it's not so? What about your best friend? Because your best friend can be jealous. Say jealous. Yeah. You ever hit a jealous best friend? No? Y'all yeah, cut them loose. You cut them quick, quick cord. Yes, sir. How, how do you know they were jealous? Might come your way. Oh, yes, sir. We're, going, we're doing two questions at once. Um, so um, it was, um, maybe you should just stick with one thing. Your dream is a little bit too big. Okay. And the, as far as a jealous friend, okay. um, they would um, just uh, downplay everything that I did. Downplay it. Okay, so give me an example of downplay. I, I see you. Uh, oh, well, you know, well, you did that, but 
this person over here has done, you know, five more things that okay. sh that that you should have been doing in the same industry. Okay. Okay. I right. comparison. What was the question? You got it. Y'all remember? Yeah. 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 Give me an example. Of yeah, yeah. I don't. My best friend's excited, so I, I will say it was an associate. Okay. Ooh. Uh, it okay. was an associate okay. first that okay. they were just like, well, you think it's the right time. Basically, was it, was it is it the right time? Okay. Are you comfortable doing the decision stuff okay. like that? Okay, yeah. okay, all right. And what was the question before that? Megan, you you raise your hand. Hope you remember. Okay. It was about what if people try and knock down your vision. Okay. All so right. it lets you know if someone starts to speak against it, uh -huh. it lets me know. Okay, then I need to guard this vision there and be aware okay. of who I'm sharing with. Okay. Because they're revealing themselves to me. Okay. All right. Good point. Got Mike coming your way. So you're talking to somebody and they're starting to shoot it down. So then you start to to make sure your vision stays private. They ask you how it's going. Fine. But 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 what I do? Speak, smile, and walk free. Okay. Or oh, you change the subject. All right. Someone online says jealous friends try to bring you back down to their level. Because it was a lot easier hanging around with you when, when we knew exactly how you were going to be. We knew what, what place you are going to eat, whether you were going to pay, even if the, you left your wallet 12 times. Come on, guys. Don't, don't let them put that one on you. Y'all talking? Okay. Anyway. All right. Y'all got it? Okay. <laughs> I mean, stop working with the enemy. I, I know I've said that a couple of times. Stop working with the enemy. You know, if you're around somebody and you just, I mean, if you have to be around them, that's different. But minimize your time if you don't have to. Minimize your time. Don't say, let's get together for our lunch. I got 30 minutes. <laughs> so that means you got to get in there, you got to get out. On your days off, don't spend time with them. Have some fun. Are they fun? <laughs> and, and I understand not everybody has to be fun that you, you are with. There's some challenges that's going on. But, I mean, if you got a choice and you can choose, if you want to grow that day, then you call the growth friend. If you want to relax that day, then you call the relax friend. Wayne and I like sci-fi movies. I don't ask the girl to go to a sci-fi movie. She already told me she don't like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I don't want to torture her. I know she loved me, but she, she ain't got to prove it through the movie. <laughs> Wayne and I, we kick up, we get popcorn. He noisy on his side. I'm noisy on my side. You know, we, we had people in the theater tell us, shh. Because we're like, Wayne, did you see that man? Whoa. <laughs> and don't give us, you know, you got to get your refill. That, that, that drink is at like $7 now. How many sodas can you get for $7? So it's like, hup, hup. <laughs> and we don't do it at the same time. You know, we got the person on the move. But we have fun. We walk out, you know, then we sit in the car for another half now talking about what part stood out to. But guys, I mean, you got to choose joy. Y'all understand what that is? I mean, if you got to live, live joyfully. Today is, a, is yeah, you, your day has challenges, but what's the, what's the other side of that? Joy. Whatever we think on, we focus on, we bring on. So replace the thought as quick as possible. Give it to God. People don't understand what you're doing when you're riding, riding in the car, be riding. Something happened, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you in advance that I give such and such to you. I forfeit my right to seek revenge or to hold on to any anger, bitterness, or resentment. I thank you for healing my damaged emotions. I desire to see and love myself the way you do. Man, the whole steering wheel look different. The road look different. You start to slow down a little bit or sometimes speed up, depending <laughs> on what I'm driving. And you just got to make a decision, God. It's your decision. Because, see, if they can mess with you at 9 o'clock and you got to be with them to 5, then, then five got something else waiting on you. Because it says, I done messed up their day by saying this. I make sure when they go to the gas station or the grocery store, that some, I'm going to have somebody there waiting on that got something worse than what that other person said. And see, they don't have to have a lot of work to do because you already been carrying that person around all day. You understand what I'm saying? Then two days later, you decide, well, you know, I'm going to go ahead and forgive them. Well, you got some roots that went down in there. Because see, anytime you keep something overnight, the roots had a chance to grow. It had a chance to grab onto something. 
And so all it takes is somebody triggering that root, and it'll start to grow again. Stay present with your emotions. You understand what I mean? Stay present. The other week, I, I threw my mic. I mean, I threw something over there. What was it? The mic thing. I just kept on with the kept on with the service. I knew somebody was going to be able to get it and bring it back and get it working. And then I had to tell y'all, stop looking over there. They they looking over there to see what the person's doing. I'm right here. I'm bringing the word. <laughs> Listen to the word. That's how you can be distracted, God. It's your mo- So your why is your your motor. What's getting you up in the morning? What's keeping you up at night? Sometimes when you got the vision, you got you got to stay up and, and do some things at night. You can't just go to bed at ten like you normally do. And nobody in here go to bed at ten. Troy don't even go to bed at ten. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Troy, Troy go down at about seven thirty, something like that. He likes to watch entertainment tonight. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> and I, that, 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 that's why I like to watch. So I know what movie's coming out. So I can tell you, hey, when you know what's coming out. Enjoy your life, guys. What you like to do? Shout it out. Tell me what you like to do. Eat, okay. Certain type. Certain type of food, okay. Call it out. I sushi. sushi, okay. All right. Who else? Uh, Chris, Chris is a sushi man too. Yeah. All right. Who else? What would what, you like? Golf, Golf okay. Painting. Gardening. Gardening. Playing the piano. Shopping. 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 What is? Shopping and buying. Shopping and buying. Okay. All right, so I ain't tell you not to window shop. Y'all heard it, and she look, and then she buy. All right, so let, let's look at this one. Okay, so y'all got your why? What consistent, uh-oh, what sometime of action do I need? Or does it need to be consistent? What consistent action do I need? If I say I want a career, why do I want it? I want to be financially sane. What consistent action do I need if I'm looking at a career, guys? Y'all shout it, shout it out. We need to. Huh? Do you need a resume? An updated one. A updated one? Very good. Yeah, I, I heard it 12 years ago. <laughs> now, nah, an updated one. What else you need? Discipline. Discipline. What is it? Do you need to apply? But, but I thought God was going to rain that down. Regular networking. Regular networking. Making a habit of being on time. Persistence. Persistence. What is it? Training. Training. Oh, you can take classes for that. Okay, for free. What else? Okay, I'm going to jump to you. A relationship. I'm talking about some of the relationships you're in. Do you need to keep them or do you need to lose them? <laughs> Wait, what you laughing about, buddy? Do you need to keep them or do you need to lose them? I, y- y'all want a test? Let me give you a test. When you're with somebody and you leave them, are you better off when you leave them than when you came to them? Why do you consistently expose yourself to that? Family. Family? Okay. Okay. You can limit family, can you? Yeah. You got holidays. <laughs> <laughs> So this is real talk, guys. Talk to me about relationships. What are you known for? Uh Uh-oh. See, I'm meddling there. Can I meddle a little bit? What are you known for? Do you have a reputation where, uh uh-oh, if you see somebody do like that when you're coming, they don't even realize they do it. (laughs) And they do that breath. (sighs) And you way down the aisle, you can hear just make a U-turn. Turn and go another way. <laughs> speak from that distance way back back there. You just speak way back there. I know I'm known for making you laugh and I'm going to be a jokester. Okay, That's okay, all right, am. okay, all right. Who else? What you known for? I, I know how to get you to talk about somebody. <laughs> what do you know people that you need to leave alone for? Go, go ahead, Reverend Doe, go ahead. I, I, I believe I'm known for... Um, Giving advice and telling the truth. Okay, give me. Like it or not. Okay, okay, all right. Who else? All right, so y'all got these down. Y'all gonna work with them. All right. Let me go to number two. These we're talking about steps to now, calling things into existence. Calling things into existence. Can I ask you? Did it, did it say thinking things into existence? 
It says calling things into existence. Romans chapter 4, verse 17, New King James Version. As it, is, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. In the presence of him whom he believed, God who gives life to the dead and call things, those things which do not exist as though they did. This used to be a office complex. When we first saw it, it had cubes. Y'all know the cubes where, you know, you, the, they had the little short cubes. You know, now you got cubes that you can, you know, nice, hype. But that's all they had in here was cubes. But we call things that be not as though they were. And now it's a church. The church had walls on one side, but we saw it without the walls because we wanted it wider. So we called things into existence that were not there. When you call things into existence, you also pray about the people who will need to do it so that it can fulfill what God called it to be. Amen? This concludes today's message on Challenge to Change, where real transformation begins with you, with Pastor Paul Morgan. If you are ever in the Richmond, Virginia area, join Pastor Paul for Sunday service at 10 a.m. at Chosen Generation Ministries. The website is www.chosenrva.com or call at 866-333-9505.